this is the most important, rarest rookie card by Honus Wagner, who is a Hall of Famer, who supposedly the story was when, when they made trading cards in 1909, uh, they wouldn't they were marketed by cigarette companies so that they could get children involved. And, and the story supposedly goes that Honus Wagner didn't want his name, even though he smoked and chewed tobacco, he didn't want to sell it to kids. So he pulled all of them off the market. And, you know, there were only a couple hundred ever made. He was the greatest player of his time. And today there's only 50 or 60 that even exist. So there it's the Mona Lisa of, of sports cards. And, not only is it beautiful, it's it's rare and, and uh, you know, something that's always been, you know, as special in the hobby as it gets. So here's how we know how rare it is. Yeah. We're, 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 we're burying the lead here. Yes, we are. Uh, what, what did this set you back? This was $3.7 million, and, and it, it is a PSA 3. Just to put it in perspective, 3 means very good condition. There's of the 50 or 60 that exist in the world – this is one of the top five. There's only four other cards that have graded any higher than this. So um, these don't come up for sale. And, you know, I had an opportunity to buy it, and, and I did. So are you a card collector, or was this just this, uh, this one-off that you just couldn't resist? No. In the pandemic, I, was a, I collected cards as a kid, and then I started, you know, haven't really looked at cards much. Um, and then I started noticing in the last few years – people investing in cards. And to me, they were always beautiful, but I never understood, you know, the value. And then I saw there's a, a grading company that, you know, puts everything, you know, they, they, they tell you the population. They put a, they hermetically seal every card. They put it in, you know, it has a number, a serial number attached to it. So you know how many there are in the world. They're graded. Um, and it's really turned not only into just, you know, a hobby of, of, of beauty and, and things people had as a kid, but, but an, an investment vehicle. What do you do with the card? Um, yeah, because when, when you were a kid, you used to, like, put them in a, in a shoebox yeah. and you put it yeah. under your bed. I'm guessing that or, is not what you're doing <laughs> with this card. No. And to me, they're art. I mean, if you look at especially the vintage cards, um, and I say vintage is everything – Michael Jordan, which was 1986, his rookie card. That's a vintage card. To me, those are the most beautiful because they're like art. Um, some of the newer cards are, are great, but, you know, uh, to me, they're so beautiful. It's no different than a painting. They will be displayed like art.